Now let's talk about raster image or pixel image versus a vector image. So vector is something that you could create in Illustrator, for example, and you would do that during shapes. So using shapes, we could create this, for example. And that's something that we can zoom in and we can make it as big as we want and it's never gonna get pixelated. So you guys can see I can zoom in as much as I want. So let's zoom in here, for example. I'm never gonna see a pixel. And you can make a vector file as big as you want or as small as you want. You're not gonna see any pixels. You're just gonna see the shapes that you created. So that verse is right here, a pixelated image. So this would be like a photograph, for example. And if you zoom in on it, there will be a point that you start seeing pixels. So you see those squares? Those are the pixels. The higher the res of the picture, the more you can zoom in and the bigger that you can make it. But at some point, you guys can go see the squares, which are the pixels. So you can almost go really big with this one, but not that huge. So again, that's what happens with a raster or pixel image. You will see the pixels. So they can only go so big. You can only blow them up up to a certain point. Whereas a vector image, again, doesn't matter how much we zoom in, how big we make it, we're never gonna see any pixels. So I'm going full on zoom, nothing's gonna happen because it is a vector image. So that's the difference between the two. And for example, in Photoshop is where you would create images that are pixel or raster images. Whereas Illustrator, you use Illustrator to make vector images. Obviously there's ways to make that work the opposite way. You could make vector images in Photoshop and in Illustrator, you could end up with a raster image just because you export it as a JPEG, for example. But on our next episode, we're gonna talk about more about file formats. Now let's talk about directing your viewer throughout your design. This is something that a lot of people forget about. We are advertising anything really. In this case, I'm just gonna put tech and design, this channel and then productions. So if we place our element, this could just be any element, doesn't have to be a person. He you notice that he's pointing this way. He's walking this way. So our viewer's attention is gonna go this way and they're gonna take a look at this as our main element, whereas they're not really gonna pay attention to this guy. Although it's more interesting to look at him, it's more complex than just words. But at the end of the day, your eyes are gonna go right into here because he's looking at this. So we are looking this way to the right. But for example, if you have a photograph as part of your design poster and it's looking this way to the right and you have your wording here, it'll get kind of confusing of where to look. And actually you could be directing your viewer to just not look at anywhere and just get out of your poster right away because of the way that you're directing with your elements. And for example, in this case, it's not just the bird itself, but even if you look at the lines of the plants, they're also going to the right. So it's directing your eyes to the right. So generally speaking, you don't want your viewer to get out of your poster. You want them to stay in your poster and focus on where you want them to go at. So you would be placing your words here, for example. However, I would never use an image like so here to this side because I'm always gonna know that it's directing my viewers out of my poster right away. There's too much empty space on the left. It just wouldn't work. But for example, if I was using this image, it could technically work out because we have the spider. And if you guys look at the lines, they're moving this way. It's kind of directing your eyes towards the main thing that we want them to look at, which is our title right here. And if we add more text or anything, we would place this up here, for example. So again, the text would look something like so because all these lines are pointing up upwards and your eyes would actually keep on the text in this case. So this actually would work out. But anyways, as mentioned, you always want to direct your viewer to stay within your poster, within your design. That's why you have to think about where things are pointing at, where your lines are pointing at, and what message you're trying to convey during your design. So always look at all the elements within your design, your photograph that you're using for the background, everything, so you know where to place things within it. But anyways, that would be it for this quick introduction into graphic design. And as mentioned, we will be showing you how to use Illustrator, Photoshop, and InDesign, plus a few others, because as a graphic designer, you have to know how to use almost all the Adobe software. And we will even touch base on how to make marketing plans. 
But as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.